The Better Business Bureau is urging all of us not to post our COVID-19 vaccination cards online. News 3's Danny Valle joins us live in studio with more on this. Danny, what concerns do Better Business Bureau officials have tonight? Well, Julie, the information on those cards includes your full name, date of birth, and your vaccination date, things that you may not want strangers to know. And the BBB wants to remind people that those small bits of information can lead to bigger problems. We're excited because we're going to be getting out of hopefully the situation that we're in now, now that people are being vaccinated. But make sure that you're making good decisions. When you overcome an obstacle, sometimes you just want to share your success. On social media, countless users are posting pictures of their vaccination cards, a milestone moment for a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic. But Whitney Quick, regional director of the Cape Girardeau Better Business Bureau, says those moments of joy could be the jumping-off point for scammers. For example, in Great Britain, she says there have been cases of scammers selling fake vaccination cards. If we continue to put these cards on Facebook and things like that for people to see, it's probably going to be only a matter of time before similar cons come to the United States and Canada. Her advice? Change your privacy settings on social media accounts. That way your personal information is set to friends or family only. So you want to make sure that you are only sharing that type of information with people who may already know it or people who you don't mind sharing it with. This is not something that you want to share with just anyone because it will open you up for identity theft. And it's also something else to keep in mind. You may want to scroll through your friends list and make sure to weed out some of those fake profiles. And if you still want to post a selfie, quick suggest taking a picture of your vaccination sticker or adding a vaccine filter to your profile page. Live in the studio, Danny Valle, News 3, WSIL.